Guys, this is Rahul and you're watching Two Wheels and a Handlebar. And guess what? We're going to meet Vedangi Kulkarni, the youngest woman to circumnavigate the world on a cycle. This series is about her and about her travels. When was the last time that you were mugged at knife point when you were trying to complete a ride? What would you do in a situation like that, especially if you're trying to complete a world record ride? That's exactly what happened to Vedangi when she was on a run. Let's find out what happened. To be frank, being mugged at knife point in Spain yeah. puts it all to perspective because that wasn't in my risk assessment. Okay, yeah. there was there was there was something saying that there could be an attack where I could die. Um but I didn't. I don't expect it to be as it happened, but um, I'm I'm glad I dealt with the situation the way I did because if I hadn't, I probably wouldn't have been talking right now. So yeah, it was it was very important in terms of preparation. Would you want to talk about what happened over there? Um. Well, I was I was riding late in the evening, and because I wanted to um, kind of keep riding through the night yep. i i wasn't planning on sleeping that night so i was just like okay i'm, I'm gonna go um well what happened was um a couple of people on a motorcycle they had a bike and the next thing i knew one was holding me and a knife was like right near my neck and i was i was quite i was quite scared uh, <laughs> uh which is an understatement um and and yeah, it was it was a bit strange situation because they were going through all my bags trying to take things and it all happened really fast. So I wasn't I wasn't really taking in everything that was happening. But what I did know that I wasn't supposed to move because um I, I was really aware about the knife. I could literally I could I could see it shining. I was like, that was a sharp knife like damn um and yeah and whilst that was happening i um caught the um number plate of the motorbike and eventually they kind of pushed me off this ditch along the road and i fell head first and i kind of got a concussion which really ruined the whole mission i had gone for yeah. but not entirely because i did go to the finish line but yeah that was what kind of gave me concussion i couldn't i couldn't remember where i was what i was doing i couldn't remember the password of my phone um so i i walked in whatever whichever direction seemed right so the general direction of my stuff being sprawled on the road was kind of ahead of me so i chose to go in that direction while speaking my stuff um and i walked a little bit and i found a gas station and at the gas station, I told this guy, um, I don't know where I am, can you tell me where I am, sort of thing. And my my phone was on like 10% and it was really like, so my passport and my phone, I was wearing four layers yeah. and my passport and my phone were like in the innermost layers, closest to my skin. So none of that was taken. So I was really glad about that. Um, but um, I kind of showed him my phone and I was like so where am I and he guessed my password which is like the easiest thing in the world it was literally a combination of zeros really and yeah he he couldn't speak English but we google translated it and eventually he asked me because I was, I was bleeding something in my head and stuff so he asked me um that what happened and I told him, I, I didn't know what had happened, but I knew the combination of numbers on that number plate. So I just kept repeating myself with what had happened. And yeah, he, someone else was there. He took me for a coffee just behind the gas station. There was a, a little pub and it was really a strange place. I don't remember it very well. Um, and, and there was this family who were originally English, but had moved to Spain. 
and they took me to the hospital and that was when we found out that I had concussion and it was quite quite bad because I kept forgetting things and I was a mess <laughs> and yeah they they said that I might have to stay in the hospital I was like nah I'm not like you know you, you're gonna have to take me back to there and you know find me a place to stay overnight so they took me back to the pub and there was um a place to stay right there like it was kind of a motel so yeah I just I just went in this really dark room and it was it was quite scary because I was, I was alone in that country not knowing anyone and I was really I was I was worried like I, I they had taken my money a lot of it yeah. but my cards and everything were still with me obviously mm-hmm. and I I was kind of I couldn't believe that I survived that and when the whole thing came back to me about what had happened i inf- i was able to inform the police and the indian embassy and kind of you know report the thing and because i knew the number plate so that they could be caught somehow if that was even possible and yeah that was the incident in spain after that it was really hard to ride long distances or be on the bike for long enough but i pulled it off somehow i don't know how <laughs> absolutely because if something like this had happened during one of the long rides most of the guys would be like okay chuck it let's go home but you continued so <laughs> yeah yeah that's, that's a huge thing so yeah like, mentally that's that's a tough thing to crack you know you get a most of the time when you see a little bit of blood that's the end of your journey so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yeah so, awesome job seriously awesome job i mean sticking on to the plan thank you so yep yeah. so yeah so that was that was a pretty uh, a big thing to overcome and go on so um but anyway continuing with this i mean that was a really uh, uh i don't know how to put it but it is like a shocker you get and then you start continuing and then over a period of time you just accept it and just move on that's yeah like i I I had quite a few people asking me like you know did you not um did you not want to you know make sure they got arrested or you know all those yeah, sort yeah, of things yeah, yeah. like the revenge sort of things and I was just like I don't think I cared enough I just wanted to get around the world and get to the finish line and I had a mission I had a goal and I just wanted to chase it I did not care about you know those people yeah. for me it was kind of like I was in danger and i put the fear and whatever i was feeling in like a box and i just chucked it away and i was like okay that's gone the danger's gone now and i'm safe i can do what i should do and just got on with it i hope they saw your uh, world record run and they recognized i really hope <laughs> <laughs> oh god if you like that video you know which button you're supposed to press thanks Imagine you're riding down the road on a cycle and a bear attacks you. What would you do? Well, that's exactly what happened to Bella Angie while she was riding around the world. So, in order to find out what happened, please click on that subscribe button and that bell icon next to it. And we'll get to know what happens. That's the next video coming up.